kids online and welcome back to Virtual Bible School. And you know what day it is. That's right. It's Sunday! And welcome back to Virtual Bible School Day 2. We have so many fun things planned for you today. And today, you're going to hear a lesson about the wise and the foolish builders. The wise and the foolish builders. It's a really simple, cool story. And that's what we're going to learn today. And we're going to learn that you can hear from God. So to get us started before we get into our worship, we're going to review our memory verse. Are we ready, crew? The memory verse. Here we go. Ready? Memory verse. Memory verse. Memory verse. Memory verse. Here we go. Let us keep looking to Jesus. Yeah! He is the one who started this journey of faith. And he is the one who completes this journey of faith. Hebrews 1, 12, 2, that's right. Hey, we hope you are excited for virtual Bible school today. Enjoy your lesson, and we will see you at the end. See you later. Kelly, welcome to Focus. I know we're supposed to be meeting together this week. As you might have noticed, things have gone a little differently than we planned. But don't worry, we can still have fun together, even while you're at home. For the next few days, we'll be playing games, singing songs, and discovering what it means to focus on God. We might not be able to see God with our eyes, but we can discover more about Him when we take a closer look. So. I thought we could kick things off right now with a fun game called Get In Focus. <laughs> this will be a fun one, and we can all play together. First, you'll see a blurry picture like this. Can you guess what it is? How about now? Right, it's a pair of glasses. Glasses can definitely help you focus. When you put them on, it turns something blurry like this into this. Much better. Okay, let's look at a few more blurry pictures. As quickly as you can, try to guess what they might be. All right, let's play! What do you think this is? Let's make it a little sharper. If you think you know, shout it out. It's a magnifying glass! <laughs> Good job. All right, let's try the next one. What could it be? Let's make it a little less blurry. Binoculars! What about this one? A little sharper. If you guess telescope, you're right. Let's see this one. Kinda hard, huh? Let's make it a little less blurry. It's a microscope. <laughs> and how about this one? Let's make it sharper. Who guessed contact lenses? Great job. Okay, that was really fun. As you probably noticed, all those objects were things that can help us focus. We've got some other fun focus games planned, so stay tuned. But right now, it's time for us to do one of my most favorite things in the whole world, which just happens to be a great way that we can focus on God. Go ahead, stand up, get ready to move, because it's time for us to sing to God and tell him how much we love him. I've got joy down in my soul I'm gonna let this feeling take control Joy down in my soul to stay And nothing's gonna take it away Joy down in my soul I'm gonna let this feeling take control Whatever comes my way, I'll be okay Still my joy in 
of a TV or a computer or projector screen. Right now, we're being recorded on a camera. Huh? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and you, and you. Hmm, but does the camera even see us? I mean, all it's seeing is the light bouncing off our forms, right? Uh, watch this. Right now, we're in pitch black darkness. You might as well be watching a blank screen. We're here, you know we are because you can hear us, but who knows whether or not it's exactly as you remember. Because of light. <laughs> I'm Kyle, this right here is Samantha. Hi guys. <laughs> and this is Wilson, and today we are taking a closer look at how we see things or don't. Hey, want to see something weird? Come on. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I know that is an alien planet from a video game. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's disgusting. I wouldn't say it's disgusting, Wilson. After all, you uh, have it on your face. What? Yeah. No, get it off! No, get it off! No, it's, it's, get it off! You too, Samantha, by the way. It's oh, I have a video game on my face. No, it's not an alien planet. Thank you, though. Thanks. No, see, we just have to take a closer look because this is actually... This. Wait, you're saying that that image is just an eyelash? Yep, seen through a microscope. See, some things that we see every day look kind of gross and uh, freaky and foreign, you know? 
<laughs> I don't think mine look like that because those look icky. Okay, well, this is tiny. Want to see something huge? No, more than anything. Okay. So we're going to move from the microscope to the telescope. <gasps> oh, I've got one of those. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. This right here are the pillars of creation. They're these giant trunks of gas and dust. And some people think the gas and dust are out there making brand new stars. Whoa. Yeah, right? All of that space dust is just a combination of carbon and hydrogen. All the same things that make up you and me, but they're out there making brand new stars in the sky. So, so everything from um, the, the eyelashes on your face to these astronomical miracles 7,000 light years away are all part of the same components. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> amazing! <laughs> but wait, how far is 7,000 light years? 41 quadrillion miles. <gasps> Why? It's crazy, right? I mean, I guess. That's so cool! <laughs> no matter where we are or what we're doing, we're all just trying to take a closer look at the things around us, whether they be teeny tiny and can fit in the palm of our hand, or they're trillions and trillions of miles out there in space. So far away. It really is. Whether we're looking at it through a, a microscope or a telescope or binoculars or even glasses. We all just want to see the universe around us. Getting to see stuff like this is amazing. <laughs> it really is. I love how we were created to see things and how there are so many things created that allow us to see. But we're not done yet. We'll be back in a little bit and talk more about it. <laughs> Do we get to blow something up? Oh, that also sounds exciting! We can sure try! <laughs> amazing. Can you see that? Oh, hey there. <laughs> my name's Kellen and that was my eyeball. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah, oh, cool, right? Well, God gave us eyes to see and they're pretty impressive. The eye muscles are the fastest in the body, and while the eye is only an inch across and weighs less than a slice of bread, it has over two million working parts and can see millions of colors. Incredible, right? Our Bible story today is from the book of Romans and was written by a guy named the Apostle Paul. Now, Paul was not one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus, but he had a pretty amazing encounter with Jesus that changed his life. So amazing that Paul ended up writing several books in the New Testament more than any other person. And so in Romans, Paul writes this, Ever since the world was created, it has been possible to see the qualities of God that are not seen. I'm talking about His eternal power and about the fact He is God. Those things can be seen in what He has made, so people have no excuse for what they do. So what is Paul saying? He's saying look around. Look at this incredible world. See the incredible things in nature. The ocean, the mountains, how intricate a beautiful and single flower is. Hmm. Why are these things here? Well, Paul's saying it points to a God who created them. But God's creation doesn't just include nature. Look at your friends and your family, the people that you love and that love you. Where does that love come from? It comes from how you were created. And that fact also points to a God who loves us. Paul is simply saying, stop and take a closer look. And when you do, you'll see the evidence of a God who loves you and loves the world. If we really look for it, we'll be able to see the amazing things about God and the amazing things God is doing in our world. But here's something else I wanna look at today. Even though Paul wrote this with only being able to use his eyes, today we're also going to use some tools to help us see things our eyes, by themselves, can't see. Let's take this telescope for example. Our eyes can only see so far, but... 
When we look through a telescope and bring it into focus, we can see things further out in space. And some scientists have even used bigger and more powerful telescopes to see further and further into space. And here's the thing about space. It's huge! Let me show you what I've been able to see. So, here's us. But here we are in our solar system. Yep, you see that tiny little blue dot? That's us. So that's our solar system. But our solar system is a tiny, tiny thing in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Now, where are we in our galaxy? You gotta figure we're right in the middle, right? Nope. Our solar system, all eight of our planets in the sun, is like a speck of sand right here. And you're thinking, well, that's gotta be it, right? The galaxy's huge, so huge that I can't even wrap my head around it. But do you know how many more massive galaxies there are in the universe? Maybe a handful? Scientists now believe there are two trillion galaxies. When we look up at the stars, it lets us see the traits of a God who is bigger than our imagination. So, now that you and I are maybe feeling a little small, let me show you something else. I have a microscope here, and with super high-powered microscopes, we can see incredible detail of the smallest things. Our body is made up of all kinds of cells and some of the smallest things that can do incredible work that help us walk and talk, eat and think, digest our food, run around, climb trees, and each of those cells has its own job. Here. Take a look at this. All right, let's bring this into focus. All right, there we go. What do you guys think those are? I'll give you a hint. Everyone take a deep breath right now. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Those things are called alveoli. Our lungs are made up of tiny air sacs that take oxygen in and carbon dioxide out with every breath. Look how incredible they are. Do you know how many of them are in your lungs? Hundreds of millions. Every breath while you're running in gym class and every breath while you're sleeping. When you take a closer look with a microscope, we can see that even the smallest part of us is created with such detail and care. Our God is so vast, it's mind-boggling, but He also cares about the smallest thing inside each of you. But what else can we see in creation that points us to a God we can't see? Well, we read in Genesis, in the creation story, that humans were a part of creation, and it says that we were all created in the image of God. That includes me, and that includes you. That means a lot of things, but I think it means that since we were created in God's image, we too can point to God. I'll give you an example. If I saw a building on fire, that would be pretty scary, right? But do you know what else I could see if I took out this pair of binoculars? Whoa, I'd see people. I'd see the firefighters running to put out the fire. Maybe even going inside to save people. When we see people loving others more than themselves, it points to a God who created us to do some pretty amazing things. When we really focus, we have so many things around us that we can see and observe. And even though we can't physically see God, the things we can see point to a God that is here right now working in our lives. As we learn more and more about this world that God has created for us, we can be excited about how much care God gave the world. And that's a reminder that God loves me and God loves you. And that's some pretty good news. Well, I'll see you next time as we take a closer look. Oh, hey, welcome back to A Closer Look. Today, we are talking about something so so, yeah, yes, yes. I think I get it. Okay, what do you get? Why the show is called Closer Look. Oh, okay, okay. It's because we are taking a closer look at all the things we can see. Okay, yes, very close, very close, but not just the things we can see, also the things we can't. Like dangerous ultraviolet radiation. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, yeah, no, yeah, 
turn that off, turn that off. That's okay, yeah, but, uh, not quite that. But um, you know what? Hold on one second. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, coming through. Uh, ooh, perfect. Okay, so obviously there's things we can see and we know that are there. But then there are things that we can't see, but we have instruments like, hold on to that for me, thank okay. you. Instruments like telescopes to, to see where they are. But then, can you plug this in for me? Thank you so much. Then there are things we can't see, but we know they are there. Like what? Like, uh, oh. I got it. This. We can't see it, but we know it's there because of, of all the things that it touches, like, like Wilson's papers and all of their hair as it's blowing through the wind. <laughs> That's the whole point of this show. We want you to take a closer look at things, even things we can't see. Even though we can't see some things, we can know they're there because of the things we can see. I mean, there's so many things around us we can't see, but they affect everything we do day to day. Like wind. Like atoms. Oxygen. Like ultraviolet radiation light. Right, Samantha? Right? What? Oh. Did you say something about dangerous no. Okay. Then I can't hear you. All right. All right. Do you have an autoscope? Do I have a bar of soap? What, what's an what's an autoscope? It's a thing that doctors use to look into people's ears. I think Samantha here stood a little too close to that fan. Oh, yeah. I can't hear you too. I think I stood too close to the fan. I think so too. P probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Follow me. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> well. What about you? What are some cool things around you that you see? And what are some things you know that are real even though you can't see them? Have fun taking a closer look on your own and we'll see you next time on A Closer Look.
see when we focus on what God has made it helps us remember that we can trust him no matter what remember focus on what you can see it'll help you focus on God the one who loves you and is always right there with you here's a fun question for you to think about as we leave today what's your favorite thing that God created talk about it with whoever's there with you in your house or apartment I'll see you next time as we look at more ways we can focus on God together See ya. Hey, Park Kids, how was your lesson today? We learned a story about the wise and foolish builders. Jesus told us this story, and in it he said that we need to be like the wise man who built his house on the rock, and the rock is Jesus Christ. And remember the bottom line today is that you can hear from God, that God talks to each and every one of us. And I hope that you remember that, that you can hear from God. We got a little game today to help us remember that, and we're going to call it Heads or Tails. Are you guys ready? All right. So I have a quarter here, and this is how we're going to play the game. I'm going to flip the quarter, and you're going to choose either heads and for tails so everyone can see tails will be your stomach. So I'm going to flip it. You're going to choose, and once you choose, you cannot switch it. And if you lose, you're just going to sit down. Uh, we'll sit on the steps. If you win, you stay in. All right? Are we ready for heads or tails? All right, here we go. You got three, two, one, pick it and stick it, heads or tails. Ready? Here we go. Don't switch it. Heads! So if you pick tails, you can sit down. Now at home, you can play this game with us. So stand up with us and you can play. You get the first round free, so you're in. Who we got left? All right, come a little closer. Here we go. Ready? Pick it and stick it. Heads or tails? It is tails! So if you pick heads, you're out. All right, we got one for red and one for blue. Jacob, come a little closer. Here we go. Pick it and stick it. Heads or tails? It is tails. Oh, you both are out. Let's play one more. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Pick a different one. Ready? Pick it and stick it. Tails. Blue team gets a point. That's right. Hey, you want to play one more time? All right, let's go. Let's play at home. Go find somebody in your home and ask them to play this game with you. Here we go. We're going to play heads or tails. Coming a little closer. Here we go. Ready? Pick it and stick it. Heads! Oh, I knocked almost everyone out. Jordan is the only one for the red team. Here we go. Ready? Pick it and stick it. Heads! 
All right, one left. Here we go. Kira versus Jordan. Do a stare down at each other. Let's stare down at each other. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Pick it and stick it in his tails. Blue T takes a win. Blue T for the win. That's two days in a row the Blue T win. Hey, we hope you had a really good day at Virtual Bible School, and we will see you tomorrow.